In this video, we will solve a problem on Cobb Douglas production function. The question is a Cobb Douglas production function with inputs capital and labor is homogeneous of degree 1 and has an output elasticity of capital equal to 0 0.4 if marginal product of labor is 15 at the value of capital labor ratio equals to 20. What is the value of average product of labor at the same value of capital labor ratio? The options are 37.5, 100 upon 3, 50 or 25. Okay. So by Cobb Douglas production function with two inputs capital and labor will look like this. Y is equal to K to the power alpha times L to the power beta. Alpha and beta denotes the output elasticity of capital and beta denotes the output elasticity of labor. And we are being told it is homogeneous of degree 1. Okay. It is homogeneous of degree 1 that means the sum of output elasticity of capital plus output elasticity of labor should be equal to 1 okay also or let me write it here what we are being given we are being given the output elasticity of labor sorry capital plus labor is equal to 1 okay and output elasticity output elasticity of capital is equal to 4 that means this alpha is equal sorry it is 0 0.4 plus beta is equal to 1 that means beta will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.4 so our output elasticity of labor will be equal to 0 0.6 okay If marginal product of labor is 15 at a value of capital labor ratio equals to 20, marginal product by marginal product of labor, we mean the partial derivative of output uh, production function with respect to it is uh, labor. Okay, so L. This denotes the marginal product of labor. When when capital labor ratio is equal to 20 we need to find out the average product of labor the average product of labor is simply y upon l we need to find out the value of apl okay uh, at the given capital labor ratio now as i told you this alpha denotes our output elasticity of labor okay and by output sorry output elasticity of capital now output elasticity of capital can be written in this fashion that means d y upon dk times k upon y this denotes the output elasticity of capital and it is equal to 0 0.4 for which is being given us okay which also denotes our alpha so this is our alpha then what is our output elasticity of labor so that will be denoted by dy upon dl times l upon y which is equal to we calculated it came out to be 0 0.6 okay so also marginal product of labor is being given us as 15 I guess it is being given as 15. Let us plug the value of marginal product of labor here. So in place of dy upon dl, I can write 15 times this l upon y, I can write it in this fashion, y upon l. So this is equal to 0 0.6 or 15 times 1 upon, so y upon l denotes our average product of labor is equal to 0 0.6 or 1 upon a p l will be equal to 0 0.6 upon 15 reciprocating both sides we will get or let me write it here now that means a p l upon 1 will be equal to 15 upon 0 0.6 that gives us average product of labor will be equal to 15 upon 0 0.6 uh, it will come out to be 25 okay so let me write it here 25 that means average product of labor will be equal to 25 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you